time to musk up. Wow. All right, back again. Today, I got something special. Uh, a fragrance from 1999, and it was actually created by Antoine Lee. Somebody lately has been just a beast making a lot of great fragrances. Uh, he's made fragrances like um, Armani Code. He's made three fragrances for Eugene at Les Abstray. He's made a bunch for Les Indomitable. Um I think he recently made a fragrance for another brand. It, they have these really long bottles. Uh, it was a recreation of Roger Dove's fragrance, if you believe he's a, a, an actual perfumer. But anyways, uh, this fragrance was given to me well, it was passed, it was given to Unaverage Joe, and he gave it to me when he got back from Chicago. And um, he didn't tell me who it was. I didn't ask, so I figured the person didn't want to uh, say anything, and so I left it at that. So whoever you are, thank you, and thank you, Joe, for passing it down. He is a Diptyque ambassador over at Bloomingdale's, or you need to purchase anything. He always offers sales and throws in a bunch of goodies, samples, things like that with the purchase. So I'll put down his Instagram where you can contact him. All right, let's get right into the uh, unboxing. So it all started when uh, Anuj sent me this mini here of Ralph Lauren Romance. And let's get a little peek into it. And here we go. It's the exact same bottle here, just in a mini version there. Right? I was surprised that somebody gave this to me because I haven't really told anybody that I've been looking for this uh, other than Anuj. And um, he says no a lot because, I mean, of course, it's pretty hard to find these uh, vintage fragrances nowadays. And so I told him to keep a lookout. Let me know if you can find one. And then all of a sudden... I get hit up by uh, Joe and he gave me this little pretty bottle here and that is a 50 ml almost full of Ralph Lauren romance uh, love the presentation uh, you know I like some quirky things at times but when it's done tastefully and this is just a nice little modern design here I don't know if this is necessarily a romantic fragrance uh, I like it because it's not sweet and so nowadays I feel like a lot of date fragrances uh, are usually sweet or uh, spicy although spicy I, I don't mind the, the typical uh, fragrances people mention D&G the one um, spice bomb extreme so what I typically like to do is before I look at notes I like to try a fragrance and try and figure out what I'm smelling to see if I know anything and um, this one was actually very difficult to figure out what was in it. And the main thing that I got that I said to myself was this was rather very musky, uh, a little fruity, uh, almost kind of flaky, kind of like a, like a velour tracksuit, right? This is what it feels like almost, but very musky, like I said. Um, a little bit of sweetness, uh, a little green, aromatic for sure, and uh, overall very dry and just really enjoyed it for a 1999 release. I think this is, I mean, way ahead of its time, very unique. Uh, the materials in here um, are very good because this was actually Ralph Lauren uh, release. So Ralph Lauren has different levels, you know, they have Champ Sports, which is like the cheapest version. Then there's a uh, Ralph Lauren Polo. Uh, then they have like Polo Sport. And then they have like Ralph Lauren Black Label, Purple Label. And so this is technically considered like a higher tier, right? And uh, this does smell like a higher tier fragrance more than typical kind of polo blue red and everything else that they've been releasing and I'm not like the biggest fan of this house although I grew up wearing polo sport in middle school I loved that stuff I love polo green but and this and other than that I'm not really too into 
uh, Ralph Lauren fragrances nonetheless. So when I did uh, look into the notes, I mean, the notes are really, really unique. If you uh, look into it, I'll put them up. But as soon as I started reading the notes, I started saying, okay, all right, now it all started coming to me. And I definitely started getting many of the top notes that you're gonna get here. And yes, I am looking at it, so full transparency. Uh, I definitely was getting some pistachio here or some resemblance of it. It wasn't like overly nutty or kind of anything like that, but I love pistachio, unsalted. And so I'm a little familiar with how it smells, right? But uh, definitely had the orange blast at the top and I got a lot of ginger, that snappy kind of lively uh, ginger and fascinating i really really loved it and then i said it was a little fruity and that i guess was the black currant that i was getting in here fantastic fragrance beautifully blended um not surprised by antoine lee and then definitely get some uh, florals here in the mid i definitely get a little bit of rose uh definitely an aromatic lavender as well but not too much it's not like a uh, barbershop fougere or anything like that but it definitely has some kind of gentleman touches here absolutely yeah nice dry woody aromatic kind of nutty musky wow very nice and then towards the dry down I started to get some kind of uh, kind of coniferous touches, right? Some some pine, absolutely. Uh, maybe a little bit of vetiver. I definitely get a little bit of rootiness from here as well. Maybe some uh, uh, oak moss is listed, but I I don't know if there's really that much oak moss here. Maybe it's adding to like the the piney kind of coniferous touches here. I don't necessarily get like forest floor here from this but uh, i think all those notes mainly sit on a bed of musk i think this is that that's the main thing here i get a lot a lot of musk um, i would say maybe white musk kind of this laundry detergent musk um, just overall really good i sucks that this i don't know why this would be discontinued honestly i could really see this selling well still nowadays i mean with some of these other fragrances that are still being produced uh, i feel like this would do very well but yeah but uh anyways yeah that's my first impression and unboxing of ralph lauren romance and again thank you uh joe for passing it down and whoever gifted to me greatly appreciated uh one of the best things about this community uh absolutely and uh yeah thank you take care bye